So let's go ahead and talk about how to use AMZ Scraper to find an unlimited number of profitable items. It's not automatically, guys, but it seems pretty much automatically. I mean, this is unbelievably easy. So what we're going to do is we're going to find a seller on Amazon that is currently drop shipping. And one of the sellers that I use is someone called TK Ship. They're a big Amazon seller. Um, I'm sure they're a great person. And the when you find, when you go to the seller store, the website URL is going to look like this. So Amazon.com forward slash this, and it's going to have this little ID right here. So we're going to copy this ID. So again, we're going to go to Amazon, and you're going to find a dropshipper. Any dropshipper, doesn't matter who it is, someone that's dropshipping. And it's usually easy to tell because usually you can see their items on, you know, you can find their items on. I, I've made another video on this channel about um, it's like how to find profitable items uh, at Walmart. And that'll kind of show you how to find different sellers on Amazon. So you're going to find, um, you're going to find your, so you could use, and I'll try to put a link to that video somewhere here, but it'll show you essentially how to find items that are, that people are currently drop shipping and how to find different sellers that are currently drop shipping. So once you find one of those sellers, which is very easy to do in that video, what you're gonna do is you're gonna use this, it's, uh, the link will look like this, and you're gonna copy this part right here. This part right here is like the, um, it's like the ID for the seller. And then what you're gonna do is in AMZ Scraper, you're gonna go to your AMZ Scraper, you're gonna go to Competitor Research, and Seller Scraper, and you're just gonna paste their ID like this. You're gonna put their merchant, their ID like this. You could change this if you want, it doesn't matter. And then you're gonna hit the word scrape. Is, it says TK Ship only has 65 pages. Scraping one of 65. Eh, okay, that's okay. Scraping tasks will begin shortly. So what this tool is doing for you is it's gonna get every single product that this drop shipper has listed. It's going to get every single product and it's going to find what's called the source website. So it's going to find the, the product that TK is listing and then it's going to also give you the link to the product to like the link to Home Depot or the link to the item on Walmart or Target or you know basically wherever it is. And what we can do is we can sort. Maybe this person's got 5,000 products that are listed. What we can do is we can sort those 5,000 products by the most profitable ones first. And then what you can do is just start listing the profitable items that it shows you. So what it's doing now is it's going out there and it's basically saying, okay, this first item, we see that we, it looks like this item is being drop shipped from Home Depot and here's the website link to the item from Home Depot. And oh, this second item is being drop shipped from Walmart, and here's the link to the item from Walmart. And oh, this next item is being drop shipped from Home Depot, and here's the link to the item from Home Depot. So this, it's gonna give you, it's gonna show you the link to the item from Amazon, to the item being listed on Amazon, and the item being listed and, and the item from the supplier's website. Um, that's the first thing it does. So let's wait a sec for this to do this. Okay, so now once this is done, what we're gonna do is we're going to go to My Sellers and click this My Seller tab right here. And you'll see it has TK Ship. This was the last one it scraped. It found 539 items. And you guys can see some other sellers that I'm scraping as well. And by the way, if you want, feel free to use these, uh, feel free to scrape these sellers as well. So when you do this in your AMZ Scraper account, you could start by just taking these seller IDs and scraping these and just starting with these. I mean, these are perfectly good and this is like, I don't know, what's this, five or, or this is like, a you know, 10 or you know, I guess it's 10 of them. So um, that's that. So what you'll do, I, I guess to recap real quick, you'll go to sell, uh, Scrape Seller, you'll get the Merchant ID which is the kind of their, um, you know, it, it's the thing that's linked to their Amazon store. And then you'll hit that go button or whatever it was, the start go button. And then once it's done, it will end up when you click the, the seller scraper right here. It'll give you a list of all them, 
uh, of all the sellers you scrape, the last one we did was TK ship. Now what we're going to do is we're going to click on TK ship's name. So we're going to click TK ship's name. And now it's going to show us all of TK ship's items. So this is all of TK ship's items. It's got 539. Now we want to sort these by most profitable. So go right here where it says source, click this once, just click this once. And it's going to, it's going to go from most profitable on down. Now, what we're going to do is we're going to click this little thing right here. And it's going to give us what it believes is the link to the item on Amazon and the link to the item on Walmart. So let's open up both of these. So it opened up this one right here. And it's this item right here. And then this is the item it found on Walmart. Now, we still want to check these because sometimes the software is not perfect and it pulls the wrong item. Or sometimes there's like with this one right here, which is a good example, this is a four pack. So it's four of these, or I'm sorry, here's the item on Amazon or uh, Walmart, four of these, four of these items equals one of these. So sometimes it might not calculate the four pack in there correctly. That doesn't mean it's not profitable, but it's, it's, it's something to be aware of. So let's see if this is a black one and this is a red one. And now it, this does not look, this is not the same item because one's red and one's black. But what we could do is try to find the black version of this by searching Amazon. All right, and I just searched it, guys. And it looks like, and it's actually silver. So I searched it by the silver name. It's, it's called silver on uh, uh, Walmart. But it is... That's 59, so it looks like this is not gonna be a good one. So that's okay, let's go back to AMZ. And then what we'll do is, let's hit this. And oh, it looks like it pulled the, uh, you know what we could do? We could do this the other way. And we could do this, we could do this. We could type this in here, and then we could do, let's do red. Let's see if it's got a red one. So, That's not red. So if we open up this one, four left, 75. And then what we could do is we could go back to, we could go back to that first one and see if we could make money with this because this is a red one. Now let's see, let's go to here. Let's go here. And let's see, it is, so it's gonna be four of these, so 75, 80. And let's do 75, 80 times four. It's $303, that's what we would buy it for. Oh, and this is selling for 265, so that's not a winner, so that's okay, we will pass on that one. Um, but you can kind of just because it doesn't show the you know the right match right away doesn't mean we can't um, mess around with it. And generally, guys, let's be honest. Generally, if the profit's going to be 140 bucks, like it's saying this is a 140 dollar estimate, there might be a little bit of um you know it might be a two pack or something like that. But let's just kind of go to another page and we'll try to find another one. Um. So let's do this one right here. So we'll click this one, and we will open this up. And then we will open this up and let's see. So that is that. And that is 110 VAC. And this looks like. Let's see. I'm going to copy this. I'm going to see if I can find maybe there's. Ship to home. Let's see if this is the same item. Um, 800 GPH pound skimmer. Pound skimmer, 800 GPH floating pond skimmer. Guys, it looks like this is the same item. It looks like this is the same item. Now we'd want to verify it, but let's see. This is $130.64. 
Amazon fee is 15%, so that means we would pocket $111, and it is selling here for 105 bucks. So just like that, you know, we want to verify a little bit more, make sure it's the same item, even though it looks like it. Just like that, guys, we found a profitable item. We found a profitable item, and we didn't find it. The tool did it for us. We just verified it. And then what you can actually do, guys, is what you can do is you can click a button here, and it will upload this item into your Amazon store through AMZ Scraper, and it will instantly start monitoring it for pricing. So, you know, let's do another one just for the heck of it. So let's go to, let's go to page two. But we would go by each of these and this, you know, this dramatically makes things easier. So let's click this one right here. We'll right click this. We will right click this. And let's see, Warner, 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 type A1. Oh, type A1. That looks like the same item, guys. Now, let's see. It is, how much is it selling for here? The cheapest seller, we'd want to match a cheaper seller, is $63.41. So if we do $63.41 times, and we're going to do, um, that means we would, after Amazon fees, we would get $53.80 nine cents and then guys fifty three dollars and eighty nine cents we buy it for forty seven dollars and ninety eight cents shipping is free that other item i believe shipping is free too so on this item we'd make like six bucks um and this is like a you know this is like a the item's around fifty bucks so making six dollars on a fifty dollar item is like around ten eleven percent see if you were to do this by hand and just try to manually find them it would take forever What's nice about this tool is it, it it helps you out. It's not perfect, but you see, we did this one. Then we would do this one. Then we would do this one. We'd go by all of them. And then what you can do is if you get to the items that are not profitable at the end, you could either go through them all just for the heck of it. But it, you know, if it stops turning green and you get to the ones where it starts turning red, you could say, you know what? I found a lot of good profitable items from this, 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 this person. I'm going to go ahead and... I'm gonna go ahead and go to another seller. So it's almost like the tool is, you know, it might get you a, let's say a seller's got a thousand items. Out of those thousand items, there might be 30 or 40 or 50 of them that are really good. What this tool does is it helps sort by generally what it believes are the profitable items. It gives you the link to the item from, you know, the supplier's link and the link to Amazon. You can get those items listed and then you can go to another seller. So it's kind of like your, you know, you're, 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 it, it's helping you be a lot more effective. When I started using this tool, guys, um, before I was using this tool, I was, I had negative profit months. Um, I had months where I was like breaking even, making $500 a month. Um, the, the, the month before I started using this tool, I made $950 in profit right around there. The next month, I made around $4,500 because I was able to use this feature to instantly start finding very hot profitable items with little ease and I was able to start selling them and making money if you're interested in this tool I'll put a link in the description it'll give you like um if you use my link it'll give you I think like a seven day free trial but if you're serious about drop shipping on Amazon I would highly recommend using this tool to find lots of profitable products easily